No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. You have a new sensor, brand new 4.6K sensor that you guys designed. Yeah. yeah, we've been working for a couple of years on this now, and um, what we wanted is a really wide dynamic range. So the new 4.6K sensor's got 15 stops of dynamic range. Um, it's got, uh, and, and it, we've got it, you know, we've got two new models of Ursa camera with that sensor in it. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So we've got the, you know, the two current 4K um, Ursas, which are coming down a little in price. And um, these two new uh, cameras will have the 4.6K sensor. And the reason there's two, obviously, we've got an EF lens mount for the Canon type lenses and a PL lens mount for the you know, broad, you know, cinema lenses. Um, also, the good thing is the, um, it'll be available as an upgrade for the current customers. And, you know, we always told everyone this was a user upgradable camera. So you'd be able to buy the turret with the 4.6K sensor in it and then bolt it on. Uh, you've got to follow the correct procedure, of course, but when you put that on, you'll um, you'll have the 4.6K um, and that 15 stops of dynamic range. And it really is, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, we've, the dynamic range is important because it's, you know, 15 stops is better than most film stocks. And, you know, we've been using this camera. We were doing a shoot last week because we've, you know, done a few little things. And we were shooting something at night and there was some, some flame and stuff. And what we saw on the camera was actually more detail than what we could see in our eye. And it was kind of, it's like, wow, this has really like got a wide range. It's quite amazing. So we've only really done some quick shoots with it. And there's a bit of content on our website just in HD, but yeah, it's really a, a wonderful uh, sensor. And we've really wanted to get that very digital film, you know, um, quality. And yeah, you know, we were really happy with the original, original cinema camera, but it was five and a half K. So we wanted to, you know, get something that would give us that wide dynamic range. So now this is going to be a 4.6K sensor, and this is going to be doing 120 frames per second at 4.6K yeah. raw. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does 120 frames a second. And, um, I mean, yeah, which is nice. You can get a lot of really nice sort of slow-mo effects with that. In terms of uh, the spread between the middle gray up and down dynamic range, I don't know if you know the, those numbers. It's, you know, we've got, you know, support for a lot of this in DaVinci, and there's a lot of new features for just being able to choose the gamma in DaVinci. So if you, like, because DaVinci's got a lot, well, there's a huge upgrade in DaVinci, which I could talk about separately, but, you know, there's, um, when you're editing in DaVinci, you can actually just select the cameras and it'll sort it all out for you. So when you're editing the content, you can look at something that's a lot more closer, because, you know, we can put it all in. So now we've got four new Ursas. We have uh, EFPL of the 4.6K and 4K, and do you have prices on, on those now? Yeah, we've reduced the price of the um, 4Ks by $1,000 each. So like an EF Ursa 4K is now uh, 4995 Um Now the 4.6K EF is uh, 6995 so it's a $2,000 more. But the great thing is the upgrade for the EF turret for 4.6 is the same price. It's 1905 So the difference um, between the two models is actually the same as the upgrade price. So you could start off at 4K and then go up to 4.6 when you're ready. Right. So right now, if you didn't own an Ursa, you'd be in at the same price regardless? At the moment, the way it works at the current time, yeah. Um, so now also we have this new, this is pretty exciting actually, is this new uh, EVF that you guys have designed. Yeah. Obviously, when we designed the Ursa, we wanted to put an EVF on it and also make it very open for third-party EVFs. That's why we used a normal BNC connector and power connector. Um, but we've got this beautiful design. It's an OLED that's full HD. It's really sharp. I mean, the pixels are so fine you can't see any pixels at all. So it's like using an optical viewfinder. Now we've got a nice little sensor on the bottom so it turns off the um, OLED when it's not being used and it works really well so you don't have to worry about it uh, screwing up, which means that you get this incredible quality, incredible color, you know, uh, gamut. I mean, it's just a really beautiful um, uh, display. But the great thing is we've got a uh, three element diopter on there and it's got a full 360 degrees of fo focus adjustment and there's also a focus chart in the viewfinder. So you can get it really accurately focused on your eye so when you're using it, you can then confirm that the uh, the lens itself is um, accurately focused, and it's just like using an optical viewfinder. It's really nice, and that's that's one thousand four hundred ninety-five. You can do like a uh, a punch and zoom on the in the viewfinder itself by hitting. Yeah, there's a focus peaking and the zoom feature on there too, so you can get right in, and, and you can also you know highlight the the um, you know details, so you can really get the focus right. And it's on the viewfinder itself. Is, is it nineteen twenty by ten eighty? Yeah, that's correct. It is. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty exciting, and I think it's a really nice addition to the camera. It's designed to suit. It works in left and right eyes. You know, it's got a you know, I mean, it's fully adjustable up and down, but also in and out. So it's um, it's all magnesium uh, casting. So it's actually very lightweight as well. So it's a really nice. I think it's a really nice addition. It just bolts on the front. So a lot of thing that people saw when this came out was this huge screen. Like you can't put it on your shoulder and use it that way. But 
you guys never intended it that. It was you were always thinking that people would put EVFs or other monitors in front, and so now you've designed one that actually works with it. Yeah, we, we designed the, this camera because we found that there was really two types of customer that were using you know, a sort of a similar camera body. There was guys that was a couple of people, and they needed some more screens. They wanted scopes. They wanted sort of the accuracy. In some ways, we wanted all that onset stuff all to be bundled up in the one camera, and you could take it away with you. And it worked very well, and we needed that big screen because we wanted a large monitor. I mean, it seemed like every camera had an onset monitor that was that size or, or bigger. So why don't we just build it into the camera? So we've, we've done that, and, and it's been very popular, and particularly in you know for filmmaking and stuff, it's been really doing very well. We've had a lot of good stuff coming back. So it's been a popular camera, but it needed a few things at night. It needed a good EVF. And also you know, being able to put that digital film sensor in with that wonderful dynamic range really gives it that top of the, you know, top level you know, performance as a digital film yeah. camera. The other question that has always becomes a question is shipping dates on, in terms of when you think the new 4.6K will be available for yeah. in this body. We'll have some low volume of the 4.6K available kind of June, July time frame. And we want to divert most of those to the people upgrading because, you know, they've already got an Ursa, so we feel like they should okay. we should give that to them first. Um, the next point, we'll probably be in good volume, really good volume, sort of like late July, probably August, I reckon would be very good volume at, uh, you know, lead times are 20 plus weeks and everything in electronics these days. So you always got to wait longer than you'd like. Um, the EVF is July. Okay, so really probably expect for the 4.6 sensor for the majority of people probably sometime late summer, early fall, where you might... You might start. Sounds about right, yeah. It depends really what the yields are and how much we get. You know, the manufacturing's ramping up now. Okay.